and Father Marco Kozina came to my house and they wanted to form a school. You had a lot of generations that came here from Croatia who were having children and we wanted to hold on to that heritage, the culture, to learn to keep the language going. <laughs> The diaspora, the Croatian diaspora is, they, I would say, they have double life. On one side, they are very nostalgic, they are very emotionally tied to the place, the country, and the people they came from. On the other side, they settled in, let's say, in Chicago, and they have their own families. They made their own friends. They became Americans. They speak English well. They settled in Chicago. They're at home in Chicago. They're at home at St. Jerome's. I think the church here is actually the, the main thing that keeps the, the people here together. And uh, if it wasn't for the church here and other Croatian churches, uh, they wouldn't be able to um, you know, gather like this. I go to Croatian school and I go to Croatian Catholic Church. But I do take Italian, so I have both of my nationalities really incorporated. It's important to me because it feels like I'm touching a part of my history, of my heritage every time I come. When my family first came to this country, they lived in a house right across the street. We grew up here and uh, the, the church is what holds us all together. And so we kind of stick around for that. Croatians from all over Chicago come here to celebrate Gospa Sinska, Lady of Sin. And this is the only place that's uh, been done except in the Croatia scene. Hrvatska žena, Croatian woman, it's been in Chicago since 1929. And uh, it's been uh, a part of this uh, tradition since the uh, first beginning. The women that walk with us uh, are mostly from uh, all over Chicago, Northside Parish, Southside Parish, and St. Jerome Parish. It's not like a one, one uh, church or, or one place. It's really from all over Chicago. We're going to make fried dough called fritula, so and we're getting our batches all set up um, and prepared. For about here. six lemons, and we need 24 okay. whole eggs and, and 10 egg yolks. Yeah. When we count the batches to the mixer, that's how I count my, my batch. It has to rise, and then it goes in the fryer. Line outside, round, round. The line will yeah. never stop. Yeah, it's true. Pounds of flour. No, no, 400. Oh, 400. 400 pounds of flour. So. I'm from the west side of Chicago, but when um, when my parents came to America, this is the church that they came to. This is where, you know, I, I grew up. I was born and raised here, but I didn't know English until I was five years old. So, you know, this is home. You know, everything else is not. My mother helped here, my mother-in-law helped here. Um, it's been a tradition for the ladies um, of St. Jerome to help out with this.